So after about 1400 hours of use with the Simplex, I've come to realize that there's, there's a setting that I always use on all my modes and all the time. It's my iron volume. The iron volume, volume is very important um, setting for a person's preference. If you want to hear all the volume jacked up all the way, that's fine with you. I can't do it. And I'll demonstrate here in a minute. I set mine right, I leave mine right in the middle at all times. I never deviate from the center. Number two bars on the iron volume. I'll show you this bottle cap right here. I'm in my tra really trashy backyard. Okay. I don't have anything discriminated out. I never discriminate anything, any type of metal out with my detector. I want to hear it all. Here's a bottle cap right there. I know that's a bottle cap because I'm getting that iron tone in there. And I can tell too, when I pinpoint it, I'm getting an awesome, awesome. Oh, that sounds lovely. But it's a short, tight, tight clip. And I can tell that that's a, a bottle cap when I pinpoint it too. I don't use a pinpoint button, but when I sweep over it in really narrow sweeps, it sounds like a bottle cap because it's so tight. And once I sweep over it a long ways, I get that iron tone in there. I know that's a bottle cap, but I always dig them up because I find rings, I find jewelry, I find coins underneath bottle caps. So you dig them out. Now here's a penny. On the edge of the coil, watch this. Zero four every time. It sounds awesome, man, because there's so much iron around here. There's so much iron back there, up and around here, that I'm gonna get a good tar. It's gonna sound good unless I sweep over it. A penny reads up the same tone, but just a little bit off than a, bo a bottle cap. Bottle caps can read up in 30s to 90s, right? I've had bottle caps read up really high, deep. Here's a penny right here, and there's iron underneath, around here, everywhere. Okay. Watch when I go on the edge of the coil. Watch my numbers. I know that that coin is right there because I already pinpointed it. Sounds awesome, man. Now let me demonstrate. Get these a little bit closer together. Okay. You're always going to dig bottle caps up. If you start... Passing up bottle caps, you're getting a lot of bottle caps in the area. You're missing jewelry, you're missing coins, you're missing some good stuff. Now I'll adjust, I'll adjust that iron volume. How about that? I'll adjust, I'm gonna just knock out all the volume of the iron so I can't even hear the iron, right? That's an iron bottle cap right there. I should not be able to hear it. It sounds even better now because you're notching, you're, you're, you're taking that volume down on the iron so you can't hear the iron. All you're hearing is that round object. The detector's reading that round object right there, conductive metal, and you're not hearing the iron on it now. And it's clipping out. I'll go over this penny. Didn't even affect that penny, right? but I still want to dig those bottle caps up because there's good stuff under those bottle caps. That's all the way on zero, no iron volume. I'll go to one bar here, see how that affects it. It changes it a little bit. One and two is, is, is very comfortable to hear. It's, it's, it's comfortable to hear, okay? Now I'll go over to, <laughs> I'll go over to what I call AT Pro mode right here, okay? I'll go over to my, <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I am not into that, man. I am not into that iron blasting in my ear all freaking day long. Okay, I can only take like about 30 seconds of that and I am not gonna have that type of setting, <laughs> okay? 
So I'm getting all the iron all the round there, and plus I'm getting that penny. Now let me, if you're in a cleaner area, and you do have a bottle cap next to that, that penny there, you still get that iron just blasting in your ear doesn't make for a good hunt man if you have that iron just blasting in your ear full bore that would drive me absolutely nuts I always take the bottle caps out okay if you want to reject out bottle caps or take the iron volume all the way down you're still gonna get that big iron you're still gonna get the bottle caps and you're gonna get much more targets recovered out of the ground that you want to keep you're still going to get the bottle caps because i dig them all out but when they're underneath that penny right there which has i've had many times or like in the hole just right right there well, they're touching each other that penny still has that iron tone in it in with it that's why i always dig them out because i've found a lot of jewelry coins and goodies right next to bottle caps you never know what's going to be next that bottle that next bottle cap that you dig up you never know what's going to be right next to that or in the same hole so that's why i keep the iron volume set right in the middle after a lot of hours of use with the simplex and hundreds of videos with it that i've posted to youtube that's the setting where I keep the same, right in the middle, the preset, setting to two bars on the iron volume. They're just a little bit of testing for you with the bottle caps and the pennies. Two common targets that you'll find next to each other and nails and whatnot. I have other nail videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.